Alright, here's the cage chords. You got C, A, G, E, and D. Okay? If I wanted to play all C chords using those five shapes, this is what it would look like. Starting with the lowest one here, we got a C, then we got an A shape right here. Okay? Then we got a D shape, uh, sorry, G shape, which is right here, technically. Alright. Then we got an E shape, which is right here. Here's my root note. And then the D shape is right here. Here's my root note. So I got C, A, G. that makes sense and you just do all the other chords so say you have an A right, you start with the lowest one here here's your A shape right, then you go to the next letter in cage which is G so here's an A so technically you have a G shape right here because you have one two three and these are open back here so you have the root note third and the fifth Put your pinky down right here if you want. Alright, so you got A, G, then you have an E shape, which is right here. Here's your root note, and here's your E shape right here. Alright, then you got a D shape, which is right here. Then you got a C shape as an A, so this is right here. Now, in the case of your finger, your first finger is right here, use that as a capo. So, if you were playing the A with this shape here, instead of having the capo right here and just playing it like this, you use the first finger as a capo. And it takes time to work at it. You know? So, that's, I would get started with that. Let me know if you need any more help.